just picked it up the Weber Genesis EP 330 got it from Daly's Ace Hardware in Henderson Nevada I personally prefer to deal with smaller local stores than the big boxes especially when they can give it to me at the same price that's one gigantic box this thing comes in it's 42 inches wide by 33 inches deep by 25 inches high and the box weighs about 190 pounds it's a big boy on this particular video here what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cover unpacking and the contents of the box and I plan on adding a second video here in the near future of putting it together so like I said the 2011 EP 330 just got it in today and I'm excited okay today what I'm going to try to do is just take all these pieces out in a lot of time here and try to hold it under 10-15 minutes but let's see what's inside the box here for the Weber Genesis EP 3300 or should I say 330 I put a lot of affinities together in the past and some Webers and Royal Mates and stuff like that so I don't see a whole lot of difference that we're going to experience with this one here but let's take a look at it inside the box okay as we look inside the box here they obviously do a lot of thinking before they pack this guy in there because there's not a whole lot of room for anything extra in there to flop around hit the paint or anything else so they definitely look like they've got it down to a science it Let's start breaking it down and seeing what's in there. I'm going to start out by cutting the bands on this thing and freeing some of this up. And what I've found in the past is it seems like if you pull everything out of the box and set it off to the side where you can see everything, you usually have a little bit easier time of putting the grill together. So as I take these out, I'm going to be laying them around inside the garage here. And I'm going to start a, another pile for stuff that needs to be trashed. And when I'm done with the box here, I'll just put all the loose cardboard and packing materials back inside the box and drag it out to the curb. Like I said, you don't want to throw away pieces that you're going to need later on just because they bury them in the cardboard. Here's your manual. Some packing stickers, we'll put those off to the side. You need those in a little bit. And what I'll do is, as I'm pulling stuff out of here, like I said, I'm going to try to uh, break it down and leave it in the plastic for now, but we'll break down all the cardboard and see what's in there. Warming rack, we'll need that for a while. front of the grill. Oh, I'll that for a while. Cardboard empty, nothing to take to it. Scrap it off to the side. Like I say, sometimes I've found that they actually put some stuff in some pretty weird places. So, you just got to be careful when you're taking this guy apart that you don't throw anything away that you will need later. Looks like one of the side arms. And the burner is in that one. side of the grill we'll put over here and I kind of like to keep the light pieces together because generally you need them relatively close to each other when you're doing when you're actually putting the grill together That's 
going to be the other arm. trying to do is take away everything that's kind of surrounding, that's holding the bulk of the unit in place in here. Okay. Okay, what we've got here now is pretty much everything has been removed from around the sides. Of the grill. So now I'm going to have to get my helper, come out here and pull that whole unit out, and then we'll get all the rest of the stuff that's buried down in the bottom below it, as you can see down there. There's still quite a bit in the box. Okay, well, the unit's still in the box here. What I'm going to do is open up the lid, and as you can see, they don't waste too much space in here. So I'm going to pull out some more painting materials to lighten this up before I get my helper. And like I said, I'm going to try to take most of the stuff out of the boxes so I have my cardboard and such sitting off to the uh, side. And it looks like here we've got more of our internal workings for the side burner. As you can see, we'll put that right off here to the side. It's also got the ignition for the side burner. We'll check inside here, make sure there's nothing else. And go up with our cardboard heat. Open it back up for the next thing. Here we got some packing instructions. We'll put that with the instructions over there. Piece of cardboard, pile. And then here it looks like we got some of our trays or Burners, put those off to the side. Wheels and more burner items, put those off to the side. And at this point here, I'm just leaving them in plastic just so we can get this guy out of here. A couple little brackets, maybe some handles. empty box. Throw that over there. And I'm not quite sure what that is, so let's cut the tape and look inside. Might be just some protection for the uh, Oh, okay. Yeah, it looks right out of there. Take that off, and then there you got your burners, your pans, a little more support down there. We'll take this, set it off to the side. I'm going to cut the tape on the items. And actually, it's the doors that are in there. So we're going to take the doors and set those off to the side. Handles. Goes off to the side and the uh, nuts and bolts, and then the rest is an empty cardboard box, and we'll throw that over there. Let's take one more look inside there. Looks like we've got some packing materials, all your nuts and bolts, knobs to the grill, aluminum grease catch pan, and now if you see, this thing is substantially lighter. And now I will get my helper to come over here and help me get that out. Okay, the grill unit has been pulled out. And there's actually some metal braces on the bottom to where you can set it straight on the ground. And what I did was I loosened up those gas pipes right there. Then I just put the connection to the uh, propane tank through the handle just to make sure it doesn't get snagged on anything taken out of the box. And like I stated before, there's 
still quite a few items underneath the uh, box after you do pull that out. So now we're going to finish our job for removing the rest. And it looks like my cardboard pile is getting pretty big over there. So let's go back and start pulling the rest out. Okay, this is the piece that was in front of the grill handle there. That's empty. A little support. Top of the grill, there's nothing in there. Here you start removing the sides of the grill. We'll just put those right there. There's a little pack of what looks like there's going to be spacers or braces, which were sitting on the top of that, so I'm going to put those over there by that so I don't lose them, because you may very well need them at that point there. Piece of metal. The other side, or front, not, this uh, is probably the base of the unit. We'll put that there. We've got some uh, pieces tucked away in there. We'll put all these little pieces up to the side. That's your neighbor guard right there. Center by the weight of this, I think it's got to be the grates, my guess. Yes, it is. Your stainless steel grates. Very nice. I don't need those for quite a while, so we'll just put those over here by the doors. Leave that in the cardboard. As we go down to the box, vacuum. And the last bottom piece of that, that's scraps. This is the whole bottom piece, and I don't believe there's going to be anything else tucked inside there because most of these are crushed to hold the piece, and there's nothing underneath it. So we're going to put that right back in there. And as you can see, the box is now empty. Okay. The box was once chock full of stuff, is now empty. Got the pile of cardboard and all the miscellaneous pieces. I got them laid out along the side here. Doors, grates, sides, and the rest of the pieces. So there's actually not as many pieces in here as I thought. So that's what consists of your Weber Genesis EP330. Now there's also going to be a second video of putting it together. Okay, the last part of the packing now is taking all the miscellaneous cardboard that we uh, had here. We're going to throw all this back in the cardboard box, the big box, and all this will be working its way out to the trash tomorrow. And Carpenter will pick it up, throw it in the back of the truck, and out of sight, out of mind. Out of mind. And if for some reason your garbage man won't take it, you can also uh, pretty much cut the box down and flatten these out. Flatten these out and uh, then they should take that. Ah. Anyway, I'll do that on my time.